Hello, AC. Once again, I am Miss Modi from the Campus Ministry Office, and I am here for a short session of liturgical catechism as we observe the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. This December, you may have noticed that our priests seem to be wearing purple vestments. This color heralds to us the new liturgical year, which starts with the first Sunday of Advent. The color purple is often associated with penance and humility during the Lenten season, but during Advent, we associate it with preparation and waiting. Preparation for the Christmas season, whence our priests will then shift to wearing gold or white. But exactly how does our Advent liturgy help us prepare for the coming of Christ which we remember every Christmas? In other liturgical seasons, the Gloria is usually sung during Sundays and on other days when we celebrate a solemnity or a feast. But during Advent, you may have noticed that we haven't sung it for the past three Sundays at all. Why is this so? This is to help build in us a greater yearning for that occasion when we can finally sing the Gloria. After having expressed our sorrow for our sins during the penitential rite, the Gloria, which is part of the introductory rites, is a most ancient and venerable hymn, first sung by angels as they proclaimed the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. Through this hymn, the Church, gathered in the Holy Spirit, glorifies and entreats God the Father and the Lamb. This helps us dispose ourselves for a solemn celebration of the Eucharist which gives to God what is due Him, our worship and thanksgiving for who He is and what He has done for us. So, Advent is a time of waiting, active waiting. If you wish to enter more deeply into preparing yourself to make space for Jesus in your heart, may I suggest that you consider completing the Simbanga bed this year? You will notice a marked difference in the liturgy for Simbanga bed. During these dawn masses, we sing the Gloria and already excitedly anticipate the coming of Christ by engaging in singing liturgically appropriate Christmas songs. These novena masses that begin on the dawn of the 16th of December help us prepare for a more meaningful celebration of Christmas, whence we celebrate not only that first coming of Jesus more than 2,000 years ago, but also that daily coming of Jesus into our lives as He invites us to work for the extension of His kingdom here on earth. And finally, that coming of Jesus when He is in the fullness of His glory with His angelic hosts drawing back all of creation to the Father. Are you not excited for this? This Advent season, let our yearning for Jesus increase in our hearts through prayer and actively waiting for Him by continuing His mission of compassion to all of creation. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Music